is there any way that uh, the cricket association bcci can help other sports as well because that has been discussed as well well bcci has been quite generous in the past bcci gave 50 crore rupees uh, to the national sports development fund earlier and uh, with these 50 crore rupees which bcci had given we had we were able to uh, u utilize these 50 crores in uh, for different sports so it is not that bcci has not been putting in money bcci gave us 50 crore rupees earlier but uh, if it if, if it wants to help other sports more it's all the more welcome right uh, there is a criticism that uh while we do like the participation of private sector, there is also a sense that uh, what we have seen in IPL, if it becomes overly corporatized uh, and it is only about money, then it is no longer about sports. So, while BCCI is independent and IPL is a completely different body, is there some way in which uh, the government can uh, play a role in this? I do not think the government should always step uh, out of anything, uh, all such things, like uh, whether it is a sports or whether it is an entertainment. Whether it is a sasbi kabhi bahuti or whether it is a pure sport is something um, uh, which for the government should not make much of a difference. But uh, if suppose it is a commercial venture right. uh, and if lot of foreign remittance is going out of the country, right. then the sports ministry would like a small share of uh, that commercial venture mm -hmm. to be automatically taken off and spent on other sports in the country. Is uh, for your ministry and for the for for the subject of sports, are funds an issue? No, not that much. But again, like if suppose IPL, as you are saying, if IPL is a commercial venture and IPL is a sports, and in IPL a foreign remittances are taking place, or if in IPL lot of money is being earned by certain uh, owners or by certain entities, then if a small amount of that money is being spent on other sports automatically. So, for example, it could be done by putting a, a marginal tax, for instance, on the yes, ticket sales uh, or I, something uh, like yeah, that. Some, some very small, if suppose, uh, uh, say, uh, 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 1000 crore rupees is going out of uh, 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 the country. If out of that 1000 crore rupees, if suppose 40, 50 crore is spent on uh, for development of other, other sports in the country, it would not pinch them much and it will also help other sports. So, this kind of an institutional arrangement should be initiated by the by IPL or by BCCI themselves. So, that other sports should not feel that BCCI is just uh, or IPL is just a commercial venture and they are uh, ignoring other sports or the government is helping uh, BCCI or IPL uh, by way of helping them and ignoring other sports. So, this kind of feeling should not be there among other sports. Five years from now, where would you like to see or let us say 10 years from now, where would you like to see India in the global sports arena? Well, I, I feel that uh, not uh, 2012 perhaps not 2016, but definitely 2020. We can be in 2020 Olympics, we can be in first 10 countries of the world if we are able to have our sports reforms, the sport development bill, if we are able to set up our good sports coaching centre in NIS Patiala, if we are able to uh, start and uh, uh, at, a, at a good level, if we are going to take it, uh, our National Institute of Sport Sciences, which we intend to. So, I think uh, uh, using these three, four uh, things which, we, which I have just initiated and automatically the private sector money will come in when all these three things are there. I think by 2020 we will be amongst the world's first 10 countries in Olympics. That is something which I think surely we can achieve. And this is also to ensure and, and you have already taken action to ensure that it is it's a cleaner uh, place uh, where uh, not just about corruption but also the recent issue of doping, you know, yeah. it is clean sports which is going to dominate uh, the country. Yeah. Clean sports which will dominate the country and our sports development bill has this uh, anti-doping uh, 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 rules also which will be getting legislative backing. So, clean sports not only clean from corruption transparent in functioning but also clean from dope is something which we are uh, moving ahead with. Thank you very much Ajayji for joining us on Bloomberg UTV.